I pulled up to McDonald's drive through last week because I had a hankering for a large iced tea, unsweet, with just a splash of sweet tea on the top. So I pull up to the drive through give the guy my order, and he says, uh, can you repeat that? And I said, yeah. So I repeated myself. And he said, I uh, guess, you know, next time, why don't you just wait and tell them at the front window when you go to pick it up? I said, all right. So I pull up to that window, pay my buck eight, and go to the next window, and the girl says, uh, what was that you wanted? And I said, hey, it was large iced tea, unsweet, with just a splash of sweet tea at the top. Well, what does that mean, a splash? <laughs> um, I'll just take uh, unsweet tea. Okay. She hands me my tea and says, and hey, next time you can just tell them at the front window. So I pull away and I'm thinking to myself, will I ever go back to that McDonald's? So this morning I said, you know, I'm going to give McDonald's a chance to redeem themselves. I go back to the same McDonald's, large iced tea, unsweet, splash of sweet tea at the top. Uh, you got it, boss. <clears throat> I chose. I didn't know what to say. I drive through, pay my bucket, go to the back window, the last window. I pull up. The girl has my tea waiting, and she says, Sir, here's your special tea. I smiled, took the tea, said thank you, pulled away, and thought, That guy, that girl, has a high customer IQ. I will come back. And I'm going to tell somebody at McDonald's about the way they served me. You know, it's rare that you find a recruiter who is great that has a low customer IQ. They just don't go together. So, here's a question for you. Recruiter, what's your customer IQ? I promise you this, your customer knows.